a busy Friday night in the Queen City. You'll find packed patios, friends and couples out and about, and very few masks. The pandemic, for now at least, appears to be in retreat. The issue always is, will a variant emerge that um, are the, the immunity we've developed because of vaccination or having had COVID is no longer effective against? That's always the wild card in this. I don't believe that's going to be the case. Case numbers in North Carolina are falling dramatically from 11,000 positive cases in a single day last month to less than 2,000 in one day this week. But now the CDC is urging anyone who got a Johnson & Johnson vaccine more than two months ago to go ahead and get a second shot. Dr. Katie Passaretti with Atrium Health says she would actually recommend mixing and matching. So that is one situation where I would personally consider or talk to my patients about whether to, um, you know, for the booster, get a different type of vaccine. The CDC says anyone who is 65 and older has pre-existing conditions like cancer, diabetes, or heart disease, or anyone who works in a high-risk field should get a booster shot. For people who don't fall under those categories, health officials say the original shots you got should hold up just fine. The individuals who are having higher numbers of severe post-vaccine infections ending up in the hospital are the elderly, the immunocompromised, the people with other medical problems.